This Sunday morning, the city of Newark is looking pretty in pink. The Breast Cancer Association gathers today, along with dozens of breast cancer survivors and supporters. Participants formed a long line despite the cold weather as they got ready to begin their stride for life. This non-competitive walk ranged in distance from three to five miles. Survivors were accompanied by their family, friends, and general supporters. Many of them had amazing stories to tell. As a survivor, what does this walk mean to you? Um, well, to me, as a young survivor, I've been diagnosed with breast cancer twice, and I'm 35 years old, and to see everyone come together and just be such a big part of this organization, raising money and trying to find the cure. People volunteered their services and donated to various organizations helping raise money to find a cure. This year we have over 90 walkers with us um, and last year we raised over $11,000 for, the, for, the, for um, making strides um, and basically the reason why we're involved is because we have friends, family, um, members of other the members of the community who are affected by this disease and we wanted to do demonstrably uh, participate and um, add our voice to ensuring that we have a cure. Kane University showed their school spirit and support as they joined the walk down Broad Street. The Cougar and we're here to support breast cancer awareness. I'm Lily Morales and I'm reporting live from the Military Park Making Strides for Breast Cancer Walk with KUTV.